Hey guys, Richie here. I want to talk about the Pod HD 500 today and how I'm using it with my Angle Steve Morse amp. This is the Angle Steve Morse. It's got three channels, it's all tube, and it also has MIDI control, which opens up a lot of features when you're using it with a MIDI pedal like the Pod. So let's get into it. I have this bank set up just for use with the Angle amp. So if I hit the first preset, I have channel one of the Angle. my delay here on this pedal. Now on this button over here, 4, I have the boost on the amp. So I'm actually controlling the amp's functions through MIDI. Now if I go to this button, that's my second sound. Here I've actually bypassed the preamp section of the angle and I'm using the amp modeling of the pod to get a, a Dr. Z. I also have this really cool uh, tube screamer right there. I have a tremolo and delay and I also have the boost again from the amp. Alright, moving along to three, this is channel two from the angle. Now, I did something really cool with this. Using this four cable method that I'm using, I can put effects before the amp preamp. Like, for example, here is a phaser that's going to the front of the amp, and here is a delay that's going into the back of the amp. So, with this method, you can put your amp's preamp wherever you want in the chain. Another pretty cool thing about this preset is I have access to not only the boost, but I have access to more gain. And that's not using the pod, that is just MIDI uh, transmitting to my angle amp telling it turn on the high gain button. And finally I have my lead setting here which is channel 3 of the uh, angle. This is pretty much the same as the last one with the uh, gain boost here and the volume boost. Let's take a closer look here. A lot of people told me that they got the Pod HD 500 and they couldn't figure it out or it was too complicated. Maybe this will help. Here's one of my presets. This is angle channel 1 because this controls angle channel 1. So the first thing I have here is a wah. This goes from left to right. This is the beginning of your signal flow. This is the end of your signal flow over here. So it's just like your guitar is going right into here, and going through this whole path, and coming out of the pod. So that's how you have to think about it, just like you're routing a regular pedal board. Now, over here, I have my wah. To set up an effect, it's pretty easy. Basically, you go to a, an open point, and then you scroll this first knob until you get to the effect you want. I wanted a wah. You can also pick what kind of effect. There's a bunch of different kinds of wahs here. I'm going to stick with the first one. It's that easy. Uh, to bypass it, you hit the enter switch. But say you don't want to bypass it with a switch. You'd rather do it with a pedal, because that's how a pedal board works. So the way you do that is you hold down enter, and now you can scroll here and tell it what button do I want to push that will turn this thing on and off. So I'm going to use the expression pedal toe switch so it behaves like a real wah. I'll turn that off right now. Uh, go to view to get out of this. Yeah, view is the button you hit to get to dump out of a menu. Uh, oh, and you can also double tap enter to get to the parameters of any effect. Uh, so I'm going to turn this off right now just to turn off the walks. I don't want it on. There I have a noise gate. Alright, here I have a tube compressor. So if I double tap enter, here are the settings of the tube compressor. Great. And I want this to be controlled by a foot switch, so I hold down enter. And there, I have it set up to foot switch one. Great. Okay, now, here is the really cool thing I just discovered. This thing has an effects loop on it. Now, normally, you would use this to hook up a stomp box that you like. Like, you can put a chorus or a distortion in there. What I did is I looped this through my amp. So, and I'll, t I'll talk about how I'm doing that a little bit later. But, basically, this represents my amp's preamp. And I can put it in line. So, check this out. If I mute this... I'm basically going right to the amps power amp section. If I put it back on, 
now I'm going to the preamp and I can get all the tone gain controls. So I love that feature. And that also allows me to control which effects I have before my amp and which effects I have in the loop. So uh, moving right along, I disabled the amp modeling for this because I don't want to use it. Here's another really interesting thing. A lot of people were telling me that they couldn't control the volume between patches. Well, this is how you do it. Right here is the volume block. So if one patch is too loud or too low, you can control it right there. Okay, now I have a chorus that goes after the amp and a delay. Let's talk about the delay really quick. All right, this I have set up. I don't think I have this set up to a button, but I have this set up to an expression pedal. Now, if you want to set up an expression pedal, you double tap move. Okay, you pick what parameter you want to control. I don't want to control time with it. I want to control mix. So I scroll this till I get to mix. There we go. And here I have it set expression controller 2, which is the one that's built in. And the minimum value I have is zero. So when I turn the pedal all the way down, it's no delay. And when I turn it all the way up, it's 50% delay. You can mess with those. You can make them backwards if you want. If you want more delay or just a hint of delay when you have it all the way up, you know, you could do that. Or you could set it to 100% de uh, delay. I don't do that because sometimes I accidentally hit the pedal all the way up and then you have all delay and it's very disorienting. All right, so moving on to the next preset, I did something totally different here. Here's my Dr. Z grit sound. This one is really interesting because if you'll notice, there is no effects send or effects loop block in my preset. What that means is I am not using the angles preamp. Right now, I'm just using the power amp and I'm using the internal, uh, they call it PHD motorway, but I'm pretty sure that's like a Dr. Z amp. So I'm using that preamp model with no cabinet because I'm using my own cabinet and power amp. So that sounds like this. So I really like that you can do that. Uh, here I have something really simple. I have, uh, oh, this was pretty cool. All right. I have uh, dynamics here, oh, right there. Uh, which is a boost, pretty much, and I have a distortion, which is a tube screamer. Okay, so what I did is when I hit one button, it switches between the two of them. So I can have this kind of, uh, you know, like almost breaking up sound to the, uh, to that, like, you know, uh, tube screamer kind of distortion. And how you do that is pretty simple also. Same way, you just go to, you hold down Enter, and you make sure both of these are set to the same foot switch and that one of them's on and one of them's off. That's it. So now when I hit that foot switch, it alternates between the two of them. I love that. Anyway, okay, moving on. Now I have angle channel two. It's a pretty simple preset. But this one, you'll see I have that effects loop back in the chain. Okay, now that means I'm putting my amp's preamp. Check this out. Here is channel two on my angle. My angle. If I bypass this block, I go right to the power amp. So now I can control where in the chain I want my preamp. I can put effects before that. Check it out. I put this effect before it. So that's like I'm plugging the phaser into the front, and then in the back I can have a chorus, which behaves differently. So anyway, that's the idea with that. Then uh, channel 3 is pretty simple. Uh, the only difference is that it's channel 3. It's pretty much the same as the last patch. Um, now, another really neat thing that I did here is I'm accessing my amp's onboard controls from the pod. And here's how you do that. You hold down... Uh, what button is this? You hold down move. Okay. When you hold down move, here is every button that is MIDI assignable on the unit. Okay, so what I did is I set up foot switch one as MIDI message base, which means it goes to everything. It's a on and off it's a toggle, and I have it sending to uh, CC number 22 because I know that on my amp that controls the gain boost. So here, I'll put the gain kind of low here so you can hear it. Then when I hit this button, it goes on. So now I'm controlling my angle functions through here. That's not a distortion from the pod, that's amp distortion. Same thing here, I went over to this one and I set up CC number 14. Now where am I getting these from? They're in the, the manual of the Steve Morse amp. 
So same thing here. Now I have a boost. Just by hitting that button. Here's the signal flow of my rig. The guitar goes out into the pod. The pod has three jack connections I'm concerned with. It has the effects send, effects return, and output. Now, the amp has the amp in, like we know, and I've broken it up for this example to a preamp and a power amp. Every amp has a preamp and a power amp. They're separate and they're connected automatically in your amp, but the effects loop gives you the option to break that connection and put something in the middle. So, here's how we have it set up. The effects send goes to the amp in. Okay. The effects return is coming from the amps out or send. So let's do that. Okay. Now, the pod out is going to the amps return, which is an input. Okay. And then the power amp goes to the speaker. So, what this does, okay. Now, because the effects loop of the pod is going in and out of your amp's preamp, you can now treat that as a regular stomp box or a preamp that you can turn on and off within the pod. Because once it's off, all the pod does is automatically go into the power amp section of your amp, bypassing the whole preamp. So that means you can use modeled effects or modeled amps, like I was using with the Dr. Z, and go directly to the power amp. But if you want, you can also include your amp's preamp within the pod, and you can put effects before it, or you can put effects after it. And that's how that works. Okay, that's it. Hope someone found it helpful.